So I think um, a, a leader's uh, personal communication style or the way they have of uh, interacting with the people around them can have enormous impact on uh, how they are perceived as leaders, the kind of trust that people repose in them, and the uh, willingness to put forth uh, best efforts, um, and also to, um, uh, to deliver when, uh, when things are not going very well for a particular business or for a particular business unit. Um, I, uh, you know, it can actually be a make and break uh, situation uh, depending upon the leader's uh, communication style. Uh, I, I would like to share uh, uh, an anecdote. Uh, it's, it's actually, um, uh, you know, an absolutely true, uh, uh, you know, uh, event that I've been sort of uh, witnessing around me, which is the event of the transformation of uh, um, someone that I, I admire greatly at, a, uh, you know, at a very significant leadership level. Um, I have been working very closely on. Uh, uh, with with the um, uh, with the board members and with the top management to look at uh, uh, how we can positively impact our culture through the use of certain uh, words uh, or to refrain from using certain words because uh, we are looking at uh, making um, uh, our organization uh, one which not only lives up to its um, commitment to social service uh, and to bringing about a change in society but also uh, for internally having a culture which respects each individual. So uh, one of the uh, one of the key um, uh, coaching uh, coaching bits that I've uh, uh, done and played a role in is to help uh, leaders eliminate the use of uh, negative words uh, and to help them eliminate uh, words that uh, may in other contexts be acceptable, but they're actually four-letter words because they have a very negative um, uh, reference to either one gender over the other or because uh, they are just simply plain not acceptable when you're trying to build a culture of respect. Um, and I found that uh, because uh, this is a largely creative industry uh, and uh, also because the influences on media um, have been um, where uh, impatience and hurry for delivery can sometimes uh, translate into uh, the four-letter uh, terminology. Uh, I'm not saying there's an intent to abuse, but um, and so so um, and I've seen the transformation of this one thing, the one change, uh, and I must give complete credit to my leadership for uh, being willing to um, accept that there was a need for change in this particular area. And I think uh, when I look around me uh, in corporate India, for sure, uh, the number of people who use derogatory references. Uh, sometimes we can fall into the trap of uh, reflecting irritation uh, or frustration uh, and bringing down somebody's um, self-esteem, which is completely not acceptable uh, when you're trying to build a positive culture. So even one episode at the leadership level can really be a huge setback to building a positive culture.